Breakfast is razors. No, I'm just joking. I left these out from last night. Whoops. <clears throat> Breakfast is two eggs with two tablespoons of the Kirkland cheese I show you guys every day for one point. And then four pieces of Canadian bacon for one point. And I have my coffee this morning. It's a Starbucks Keurig pod with three tablespoons of the sugar-free pumpkin pie spice um, creamer for one point and a fourth of a cup of coconut almond milk for zero points and I put a little bit of the vanilla uh, vanilla cream stevia in that so um, I have one or let's see two points for the cheese and the Canadian bacon on freestyle and one point for the coffee that's a three point breakfast and I'll see you in a little bit good morning everybody from the car again um I'm on my way to work shocker shocker <laughs> this is what I do this is the thing about daily vlogs is that you know life is just sort of monotonous um, you know, you get into like a rhythm or a pattern and you just go with it. So this is my, this is where I'm at right now. It's just working, taking care of my family, going to church, trying to lose weight. Not in that order. Um, of importance. You know what I mean, right? Okay. So I had a good day yesterday. I was able to kind of get back in the swing of things and this morning my neck is feeling you know a little tight but much better so thank you for your prayers my knee feels great um, just been rubbing it down with lots of essential oil and try not to take too many um, not try, try not to take too much like Tylenol and stuff because it's really hard on your liver so um, you know trying to do the more natural stuff and that seems to be working. I took a nice walk last night so I ended up at the end of the day I had over 12,000 steps so that was really nice um, to get some of my steps in because the day before that I didn't even have my Fitbit on. I probably had like one step. <laughs> Someone asked me what I use on my face. Uh, I think they private messaged me. <clears throat> I don't I'm not answering a lot of private messages over on Facebook, just FYI. I, you know, if I see it's from someone that I know that comments a lot to me or in my videos, then I'll, I'll check it out. But for the most part, I get a lot of weirdo stuff. I've talked about this before. Very strange messages and things that are just inappropriate. Um, that's why I'm not really on Facebook that much. So I do have the Facebook group for the Blue Dot Challenge. You all are welcome to join and there's several of us that are keeping up with each other through December 25th to see if we can get our blue dots or at least track or you know have goals that sort of thing um, and it's been really great like on a daily basis to check in there <clears throat> but anyway I got a private message over there from one of my subscribers that I looked at and she was asking about what kind of uh, foundation I use and I actually it's not a foundation it's from philosophy I'll try to insert a picture over here somewhere it's the face tint so it's like a moisturizer with a face tint um, and it comes with a brush and you apply it you guys have seen it in like some of my get ready with me segments of me like dabbing it on um, it's definitely not full coverage but I try not to aggravate my rosacea with like real heavy makeup because it's already aggravated enough as it is and it's you know I think philosophy their stuff is a little pricey but I love their facial cleanser um, I like their moisturizers they have something called when hope is not enough um, it's like a vitamin C treatment in the morning and at night I really like that one um, so I do use, and I've been using the facial cleanser for years, I do use that, and then I got this facial tint, um, I'm almost out of that, and I don't know if I'm going to buy more of it, because it's expensive, you know, I just, 
you know, all that stuff is expensive. Um, I don't like to spend a lot of money on makeup, but I do have like, you know, I try to buy like decent products just so I don't because my skin's so sensitive. Um, anyway, there's a little makeup spiel for you <laughs> from the very non-beauty channel and it's for nurse. It's, we don't, we're not beauty here. We're just straight up trying to get the poundage off. So I will see you guys at lunchtime and I'll show you what I had for lunch and I bet you can already guess what I had for lunch. <laughs> so I'm a one hit wonder. Um, I brought my little grandma snack today that reminds me of my grandmother's. When I used to, just as an aside, and I need to stop talking because this is already almost 20 minutes, but which means I'm going to have to cut some of this out, which is fine because most of it is a ramble anyway. Um, my grandmother's used to make, you know, very, you know, I would go visit one, my one grandmother for two weeks every summer by myself. She and I were very, very close, and she would always make the same thing. She always made Welsh rarebit, and I always thought it was Welsh rabbit. I always thought I was eating rabbit. Welsh rarebit is toast with a cheese sauce on it. I don't know why I thought it was rabbit, but I was little. Either. And then she always had Klondike bars in the freezer, and she always had M&Ms on top of the refrigerator. And every morning she would make me a um, fried egg with toast for breakfast because I didn't like cereal. And then the rest of our meals were, you know, we did a lot of like tuna fish sandwiches. And she, she was a very old fashioned cook. So she has, I have a lot of her recipes, a lot of casseroles and stews and that sort of thing. Um, my grandparents were English, English, Irish. And so they ate, you know, a lot of meat and potato and vegetable sparingly. My grandfather did not really like vegetables. Did not like Chinese food. They loved Italian food, Italian. My dad's parents were Irish German, and they liked a lot of the same thing, but when I would go visit that grandmother, she always had a jar. This is funny that I remember the sugar, you guys. She would always have a jar of the Little Debbie oatmeal sandwiches. So if you were really good all day long, you could have one of the Little Debbie oatmeal sandwiches, and to this day, I love them. I haven't had one in probably 20 years, but if I think about the little sandwich, I can just, you know, I can taste it in my mind, <clears throat> which now makes me want to have one, so I shouldn't have brought it up, and I'm sorry if I have negatively influenced you all. So she always had those, and then when we, she would make us a Spam sandwich for lunch, or a Velveeta cheese sandwich for lunch, you know. I don't know why I remember the legend with my grandparents. I don't know why. They must, I must have liked them at that point. So they were both great. I had I was very blessed growing up to have two sides and have just wonderful grandparents. And they're all in heaven now. So um, you know that's a blessing as well. But all right, I'm gonna stop talking about Velveeta and Spam and Little Debbie's, and I'll see you at lunch. So what is wrong with this picture? I'll tell you what's wrong. I forgot to put my cheese on my salad this morning. Wah. Um, Yeah, I have a, a salad for zero points because it has no cheese. I had my apple earlier today for zero points. I have my little grandma cottage cheese and peaches over here. And then I have a couple hard boiled eggs for later. I'm really bummed about my cheese <clears throat> and my ginger root beer. So, two points for lunch. I just realized I didn't tell you guys the points for the stuff that I was eating. Just because I was bummed out about my cheese. But I had a salad with grilled chicken and the skinny girl dressing, um, which I love. Zero points for the two tablespoons of that. <clears throat> and then I had a half a cup of... 2% cottage cheese and it was two points um, and then the peaches were in their own juice no sugar added 
and so those were zero. So that's how I broke down the points. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know because, I don't know, I was bummed about the cheese, but then I forgot to tell you what I was doing. <laughs> I'm listening to just sort of random, I've been listening to Christmas music all day and it's like kind of random stuff I hadn't heard. It's really fun. Anyway, I'm on my way home Thursday, the Thursday before Christmas. <clears throat> and um, had a really good day at work. Just, you know, kind of um, slow. A lot of people not showing up. So I think that, you know, just holiday time, that's usually what happens. And then after the holidays, we'll probably get really busy again. Um, I had what you guys saw for lunch and then I had what else I had an apple today and I had a look that little package that I like to eat with that has two hard-boiled eggs in it I mean those things are just great I know they're probably more expensive and the whole thing but I mean they're definitely cheaper than going out to eat and I don't eat fast food for work and I've really cut down on going to Starbucks and all of that so I kind of had ma have made some allowances there to buy like that's really a convenience food but they're organic and they're zero points and that's such a great little snack pack so I kind of am justifying <laughs> spending the money instead of you could definitely hard boil your own eggs and put them in little ziplocs and do the same thing and it would be less expensive so um, I, I definitely think because I work Monday through Friday that sometimes I do more like convenience, more expensive stuff than I would do if I wasn't working as much. I don't know if that's like just justifying it. I don't know. Anyway, I love those little packages. Um, Costco used to have them in like big packages where it was like six eggs to a package and then you could just do your own little Ziploc. Um, and I think that those were the same price. So anyway, I really like that as a snack, but I am very hungry and I think it's because I didn't have my cheese for lunch. I'm telling you, not having that cheese kind of ruined my lunch today, which just goes to show you that I have like an addiction or something. I don't even know. I have an addiction going on. My back is, I don't know. I'm all out of whack. I'm not going to complain about that, but. Um, it's the side of my body that's all out of whack. So, other than that, great, wonderful day, and I should just, you know, bring cheese with me wherever I go, and I'll be happy. What am I going to do on vacation without my cheese, you guys? I'm going to have to take a container of that cheese with me. That would be, like, truly crazy, wouldn't it? Um, I love, somebody gave me such a good idea for the cruise. They said um, to bring Ziplocs on board and then at breakfast, <gasps> sir, I really do not think that you should be riding a bike right there. I mean, I would not be riding a bike right there, just FYI. Um, anyway, what I was saying, he, I mean, he looks very professional on his bike. Um, anyway, bring Ziplocs on the cruise and then at breakfast put like fruit and hard boiled eggs in the Ziploc and bring them with you um, on like your excursion so you have some healthy snacks along with your snacks from home. And so I just think that's brilliant and then obviously eat like a high protein breakfast and bring your water. Um, that was a great tip. I can't remember who told me that. Carol or Karen or... I don't know. I have such great people giving me advice. But I forget exactly who said what. Um, someone else said... Yesterday on Chipotle, my chicken might have been three points instead of zero. And I think maybe I was taking my leader's advice a little bit too literally. She said, like, chicken is zero. And if you get chicken... And it's not in a sauce or anything, it's zero. But then 
it's possible that chicken has oil in it. I don't know for sure. For some reason, I was thinking that it was like shredded grilled chicken. But I like didn't even think about it. So if I go back to yesterday, I can count three points and then it's fine. I have plenty of points to work with, but someone who doesn't have as many points as me wouldn't. So just remember you guys, I'm not, I'm not an expert and I'm going to mess up. Um, but it's like progress, not perfection, right? So I'm definitely, I'm really trying to do it correctly. I'm not trying to intentionally not count things. So I'm sorry. But maybe my chicken was three points. I don't know. She said she contacted Weight Watchers to find out. The other thing that my leader said, I think I told you all this, is that they are still working on the points for restaurants and things because they all have to be adjusted based on the new information. And that they're still working on that. So, I don't know. Um, someone at work told me that I look thinner I'm definitely looking thinner and then I must be working really hard on it. So that was like the first time I had someone like say anything. So that was really cool and very encouraging. And um, I gave her a big hug and said thank you because I brought lasagna to work today and I didn't have any of it. I could have had it. I could have counted points, but I chose not to do it because I just, it's so I am good with saying no to the lasagna and I would have just I don't know would have used points that I want to use tonight um, we usually go out to dinner on Thursday nights for some reason that's become like a tradition we usually go out for Mexican food so I'm going to call my hubby and see if he wants to do that um, he may have you know another we have other ideas. I know like tomorrow night we're not going to be together as a family so tonight might be a good night to go have dinner. So I'm going to give him a call in a minute when I get off the phone with you guys. Our phone. <laughs> when I get off the YouTube with you guys. Um, what other comments were there? Like so many good ideas. You guys are awesome. Someone else said that the cruise was really fun because they walked um, instead of use the gym and that was really fun and I that just sounds great to me I'm just so excited I'm so excited about having my walking shoes and you guys know I get up early in the morning and just getting up and like going walking and then getting my coffee and just sitting out um, we got a room with a balcony so I'm I'm just I'm I love water so much I'm such a water person so I'm really excited about that part um, yeah so that'll be great and if you have any other tips I am gonna go check out someone said Kim from Fit and Fabulous Mamas has a, a blog up about cruise tips so I'll have to go through look through her I just haven't seen very many Weight Watchers blogging about going on a cruise so I mean I'm sure a lot of people just go off and that's totally fine like you just go do it but um, I really don't want to do that I mean I feel very very firmly that I'm just not gonna I'm gonna stay on program so the other thing I was wondering do you all know about the app does the app work on the ship so uh, we bought the basic little package that you can get it gives you like Facebook and Messenger and stuff um, on the ship so you can check Facebook because we thought that would be a good way to keep in touch with like you know people back home and stuff um, job stuff or whatever we can at least just send a message to someone and you're not as cut off and it you know, doesn't cost it's not astronomical like calling them would be so um, but I don't know if the Weight Watchers app is going to work. So I'm thinking about, I have my, um, I have a couple different trackers. Like I have a tracking journal I can take with me. And then I have the new books that have the points of like real general foods. Um, so I could at least try to track what I'm doing. 
least journal my food and try. So, I think I'm going to try to do that. At least journal and, and track as much as I can and just realize it's going to be, you know, all over the place. Um, and my husband was like, how are you going to vlog from the cruise ship? And I was like, what? And he goes, no, really. And I said, well, we could use, we have like a nice um, DSLR and we could use that and use the um, SD cards and do that. So I could, you know, potentially come back and give you guys kind of like a, a little recap of the cruise, if you guys want. If you guys think that would be fun to kind of see how I actually, like if I managed to survive <laughs> doing Weight Watchers on the cruise, then I can do a, you know, a vlog of that if you all want me to. I think it, like, I would watch something like that, but. So, um, so I could try that, but I can't make any promises because, like, what if it doesn't work, you know? Um, but I, I could try for sure. So, in terms of daily vlogs, after Christmas, after Monday, I'm going to try my best to do, to continue daily vlogging because it helps me and it sounds like there are some people that would really like that and apparently I have a bunch of coffee buddies out there so my coffee clan, my group of coffee peeps, um, you know, we have like our morning coffee together apparently because I, wa I watch YouTube when I'm having my coffee in the morning before I go to work and it sounds like you guys are watching me while you're having your coffee. So we're all having coffee together. I love it. It's so freaking cool. So um, I'm going to try to keep doing daily vlogs, but I know that I'm probably going to have to, you know, take days off and stuff. Um, it's just, you know, it, some days I just feel like it's so monotonous. I mean, really like, but I also like watching these vlogs because I keep me like I love watching other people's vlogs so I get what you guys are saying that it keeps you motivated so um, it helps me and it seems to help some of you so I'm going to try to do as much of that as I can just know that there will be times where I can't do it you know that I'm just going to have to have like a mental break um, from talking to myself Sometimes I feel like that's what I'm doing. Okay. I didn't get any steps today. I have 5,000 steps. I'm telling you today was like a slow day. I didn't even try to do stairs and stuff because I'm trying to kind of watch myself for the weekend. I don't want to mess up my neck or my knee. And again, weekends, I'm trying to take it easy. And I don't know if I'm going to get any steps this evening. Ideally, I would go home and take a walk. But if we go out to dinner, I'm not going to do that. So that's the plan. I'll show you guys dinner in just a few. I know this is getting kind of long and I don't want to talk your ear off. But um, I'll show you dinner and we'll go from there. We're here. You ready for some tacos? You ready for mm. some tacos? Oh, yeah. I'm ready. We're having chips and salsa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everybody has very low blood sugar or something. We're checking. We're 40 These are amazing, and the salsa is so good. So I'm going to have 12 chips, mm -hmm. I think, for four points. And here's the salad. It has grilled fish on it. Um, and then my husband brought me my cheese. And then I have a side of this dressing. I don't know that I'm going to have any of that. <clears throat> but I am going to put some salsa on my salad. We're in Hallmark. And this is Asher's favorite section. <laughs> the bears. What are these called? Like the little I, 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 Boyd's. Oh yeah, Boyd's bears. Actually, I think I have a couple of these from my grandmother. Those are cute. Look at all the stuff. Anyway, we're here because Judah had to finish up his holiday shopping for his girlfriend. Well, I think that that's all for our Hallmark run. Although, look at the cute, like, oh, I wonder if Hallmark has planners. They have really cute photo albums, picture frames, recipes. That's really cute. Nope, they haven't gotten on the planner bandwagon yet, guys. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Nope. Nope. Got nothing. 
perfect gym socks right here. Those are so cute. Okay, so dinner ended up being about 12 points, and the guys are getting ready. They're going to go out and see the new Jumanji movie. I'm going to stay here. I've got some things to do. I've got to do some wrapping. I have that crochet project to finish up that I've been working on. So I'm going to pop in a chick flick movie. Sorry, it's getting dark in here. But look at the tree. It's so pretty. Um, I'm going to uh, pop in a chick flick movie and work on my... Whoa! Brightening. Uh, work on my project and get some things wrapped and have some peace and quiet. So look at Lola. Lola, what you doing, baby? You see me out? You say hi? What you doing? You're so cute. Lola's in love with the tree. So she has little spots that she sits. But at least she doesn't try to climb it. So, yep. Yeah, gonna finish up some Christmas stuff here. I ended up, I have 11 points left for today. So I am going to have a banana with some PB2. Um, I think I'm going to call it a night. I might have, um, I don't know. I'm not really hungry, but I feel like I want something. So I think I'm going to have a banana, have some PB2, and see if that just sort of does it for me. I think it will. Um, and I'm not going to really work on my steps. I have 6,296, so I'll work on those tomorrow. Thanks for watching everybody and I really appreciate your input and your advice. You guys are just the best and um, like and subscribe if you would like to so that I know that you want me to keep making videos and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night.